Hey, this is Kirk at Porsche Colorado Springs. Today we've got the 2008 Ram 3500 diesel, single rear wheel. We are advertising this as a work truck. It has been deleted. You see the leveling kit there was done with a coil, not with uh, anything like a puck or anything like that. I'll show you kind of on the hood here, there is some hail damage. I think that's showing up. A couple of cosmetic things. Show you across the front end here, and then I'll scoot it up a little bit. Show you underneath. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, uh, but do want to show you what I can of the engine and everything. So, oh, where's the catch? Bear with me for one second here. It's been a while since I've opened this one. There it is. So, starting over here, we have the intake. Sorry, bouncing on some rocks here. One of the batteries. Engine. Previous owner, his wife had, a, she was a barrel racer, so she had a horse with a trailer. So that's what he was using this. Um, Primarily was for that. There's the intake horn, so to speak, from BD. Other battery. Open I'm kind of showing you everything you're looking for here. It looks pretty clean. Come back to the side here. Underneath the hood and everything. I'll show you that real quick. Looks pretty good. Let me shut this. Again, the windshield is correct. Uh, not gonna make any qualms about that. There's one. There's another one there. Kind of going across. I'll try to give you a shot from the inside too. Um, coming down the body lines. I don't know if I've got much of a reflection here, but body lines pretty straight, pretty clean. A couple of things on the the bed back here again. A little bit of hail damage, but I don't know if I'm going to get this to show up in the video. Um, no, anyway, there's just make note that there are some there. One wheel there, one more here. I'll try and show you the suspension again. Hopefully, this is showing up pretty well. Kind of doing it a little bit blind here. <laughs> Does have the tow mirrors, so that's always nice. Right now they're down, but you can always put them up for the antler kind of look on it. Door's in pretty good shape. And there's the classic. I've gotten in and out of my truck a few times. And on the armrest as well. So there's the current mileage. There's the programmer. Some information down here. This was for an air horn. Um, I had our lot tech take a look at it uh, a week or two ago, trailer break there. Uh, the air horn looks like it's just been disconnected, but I believe it is still um, equipped. So lift this up, oh, I'm sorry, all the way up and underneath here, there's the programmer. So it's a Smarty uh, programmer, what we're talking about. Nicely kind of hidden in that extra storage that a lot of people don't know exists. <laughs> Passenger seat looks pretty good. Uh, doesn't typically get as much wear as the driver. So kind of show you the dash here. Does have the uh, powered rear window, which is nice. And then the exhaust brake. So pretty good condition overall. I did upgrade the interior lights to LEDs, so a lot brighter there. See, out there in the bucket there right now, I had them put the uh, emissions control stuff so I can show that to you. Back seat again looks pretty good. So, of course, we'll get it a little more cleaned up. Oh, windshield. So, here's a, another crack there. You can kind of see one going left to right, right to left. All right, so, we've been just kind of waiting uh, to put the windshield in. So, show you the back. 
And we're coming up on five minutes on the video, so hopefully I haven't bored you too much yet. <laughs> kind of work my way around the back of the truck here. So there's your diesel. It does have the built or the uh, spray-in bed liner. So there's the two spare tires, one matching, one yeah, regular kind of spare. A couple mud flaps. It does have the crazy heavy-duty hitch. So you're really well set up with that. There's the emissions control equipment. Coming around down this side, I think you can kind of see a little bit better. There are a couple of dents and dings, but overall pretty darn straight. Wheel here does have some curbing on the top. You can kind of see somebody rubbed a, a curb somewhere along the lines. Coming over to this one, looks pretty good. Another little cosmetic oopsie there. But overall, this thing is in pretty nice condition. So when you get a chance to watch the video, if you have any questions, let me know.